In this example, we're asked to perform the indicated operations with mixed numbers. So that's going to be adding and subtracting mixed numbers. So if we look at our first set of fractions, 1 and 1 fifth plus 2 and 2 thirds, we want to start by identifying a common denominator. I'm going to write that over here. My common denominator in this case is going to be 5 times 3, which is 15. That is also the lowest common denominator. And what I first want to do before I actually convert the denominator parts and then, of course, the numerators, is to rewrite each mixed number as an improper fraction. To do that, I'm going to multiply 1 times 5, which is 5, plus 1, which gives me 6 over 5, plus, and then looking at the second fraction, 2 times 3 is 6, plus 2 gives me 8 over 3. Now I'm going to take the step where I write each of my fractions as an equivalent fraction over the common denominator, which is 15. So in the first fraction, I need 5 times 3 in the bottom, which means 6 times 3 in the top. Second fraction, I need 3 times 5 in the bottom, which means 8 times 5 in the top. If I multiply, I get 18 over 15 for the first fraction, plus 40 over 15 for the second fraction. Same denominator allows me to combine the numerators. 80, excuse me, 18 plus 40 gives me 58 over 15. That is my improper fraction result. If I want to write a mixed number, I'm going to take 15 and divide it into 58. That's going to go three times, that's 45. Then if I subtract 45 from 58, I get 13 over 15, and this is my final result. Looking at the subtraction here of these two mixed numbers, again, I'm going to start with going ahead and making each of these an improper fraction. So I'm going to have a subtraction there. So 4 times 5 is 20, plus 3 gives me 23 fifths here. 1 times 6 is 6, plus 5 is 11 over 6. The common denominator in this case is 5 times 6, which is 30. That is also the lowest common denominator. There is no other number less than 30 that both 5 and 6 will divide into evenly. I'm going to take the step where I write each fraction as an equivalent fraction over the common denominator. So in the first fraction, I'm going to need 5 times 6 to give me 30. That means I have 23 times 6 in the numerator. In the denominator, I need 6 times 5 to give me 30, which means I need 11 times 5 in the numerator. If I multiply, I get 23 times 6 is 138 divided by 5 times 6 is 30 minus 11 times 5 is 55 over 30. Common denominator now allows me to combine the numerators. 138 minus 55 is 83 over 30. That is my mixed number result. Excuse me, that is my improper fraction result. To write as a mixed number, I divide 30 into 83. That will go 2 times. That would be 60. So 83 minus 60 is 23 over 30, and that is my mixed number result.